On to multiplication of radicals. So, remember your rules. Uh, right, this is just the distributive law. What's root 7 times root 21? Root 147. Okay? Plus, write what's root 7 times root 7. Now, remember this one. This is a shortcut one. Root 7 times root 7 is just a 7. If you want to think about it, root 7 times root 7 is root 49. So when you do square root it, it takes it back to 7. Okay, so not quite finished because now you've got to think of it. Now, this might not happen all the time. It may be you can't do anything with 147, but this was in a previous question. 147 is 49 times 3. Okay, still got that. Okay, what's the square root of 49? That's 7. You're still left with the root 3. Uh, you're still left with a 7. And that's it. Don't think you can go any more. That's it. You can't combine a root 3 with just the 7. You can't add the 7 and the 7. That's it. It's two different things. That's the answer. Okay? Right. Uh, let's have a look at question 10. Let's get this out of the way. Let's scroll down a bit. Foils. All right, how to foil. Here we go. First, what's root 10 times root 10? It's just 10. If you want to write root 100 and then realize you can square root it back to a 10, you go ahead. Now, what's the outer? Now, you can't do anything for this one except write what's negative 2 times root 10. It's negative 2 root 10. 10. That's all you can do for that. It's like with x's. You know, what's 2 times x? It's 2x. What's 2 times root 10? It's 2 root 10. Right. First outer. What's the inner? That's a positive. 2 root 10. Okay? Because all you can do is go, what's 2 times root 10? This is the positive one. Finally, what's 2 times negative 2? It's negative 4. Okay? Now, Here's the little thing for this one, a little sneaky thing. Look at those. 2 root 10, take away 2 root 10, no root 10s, it's gone. I'm just going to do this right now. No, uh, all you've got is what's 10 take away 4, it's 6. Believe it or not, that's the answer to that. That is 6, because you had some things. You had the roots cancelling, you were just left with the real number part. Okay, well, I shouldn't say real numbers, the ones without the roots. Uh, so the same is going to go for uh, question 11. Um, now, the shortcuts for this now is this. Look at this. Okay, so what's root 10 times root 10? It's 10. What's 2 times negative 2? It's negative 4. Once you realize that you don't actually need those middle terms there, you could just um, think that really just do the first and the last, but only for these. Here's another one. They look the same. But one's plus, one's minus. Please do the full foil, but I see this. What's 5? Root 5 times root 5 is 5. What's root 11 times root 11? It's just 11. It's got the minus in it. So to me, that's all I need to do. Okay, because I can see that the outer and the inner will cancel. All right? Um, now, the next one won't. Okay, so I'm going to do the full foil on this one. Remember, just foil it. I mean, sometimes you can see a shortcut, but let's foil this. Okay, root 10 times root 5. Hmm. All I can do is write root 15. Okay, bit by bit. Root 10 times root 2 with a plus is positive root 20. Okay, so this doesn't have much similarity. It looks like I'm not going to cancel much here. The inner, what's negative 50 times root 5? So root 50, root 5 is root 250. You're thinking, ooh, yeah. That's what 5 times 50 is. And then finally, out the last is 50 times 2. What's 50 times 2? And it's minus, it's 100. So I really have done the foil. First, outer, inner, last. 10 times 5, 10 times 2. 50 times 5, 50 times 2, all inside square roots. Well, I can see this at the end, right straight away I'm going to do this. There, square root of 100. Now, root 15. Nothing I can do with 15. It's not made up of anything. There's no 4 in it or 9 in it. That will not change. I can't break that one down. Sometimes you can't. That's it. 20 is 4 times 5. Okay, so I've got 4 
times 5. Now then, what's 250? 25 times 10? Because uh, I'm thinking of things like square root. Is there, is there a 49 in it? Is there a 64 in it? Is there 128? No, I think that's it. I think I'm going to have to write, I think, 25 times 10. Okay. So, root 15, not changing. Um, root 4 times 5, that's 2 root 5. 25, okay, I should have written root 5, I should have written 5 there. Okay, square root of 25 is 5 with a root 10 and take away 10. This is horrible, this is what? Is that it? I can't see if you combine anything there. Um, that might be the answer. That might be it, folks. I mean, it looks like I've got a root 15, a root 5, and a root 10. Horrible looking answer, but I can't really combine anything there, so that must be it.